controversy in Comac tonight, a lot of it, fiery back and forth on everything from masks in school to the types of books allowed in class. Yeah, both topics part of an ongoing conversation in the district that at times gets heated. News 12's Christine Nsinga is live in Comac at a school board meeting that's still going on as we speak. Christine. Yeah, we can still see the cars here behind me. And like you said, book and mask, certainly two four letter words in this district right now, stirring up a ton of controversy. Parents and students not afraid to speak up on both issues. I would like to acknowledge the fact that everyone is entitled to their own opinion and that some feel that the graphic novel Persepolis was perhaps too graphic and deemed inappropriate for the IB English language and literature curriculum. Some students tonight defending the controversial book Persepolis that some consider to be racist and part of the controversial critical race theory curriculum. The topic got overheated at a community forum in the district Tuesday night when a student was booed. Persepolis is the only book written by an author of color in this entire school. So now that if this book is removed from the curriculum, every other book that we read will be coming from the same perspective of old white men. I deserve a racially equitable Come on, come on, let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Let her, let her finish. Guys, guys. The mask mandate also a continued hot topic at the meeting and before. Let's get united, let's get together, and let's get these masks off our kids. That's the message from this group of Comac parents and kids who rallied outside the high school tonight. Every day in my school, I have to wear the mask for six hours straight. While some say there are only a few weeks left in school and that they should just leave things as they are for now, Unmasked rallies like this one are popping up in more and more communities. This is absolute insanity here. Parents say they know the district's hands are tied by the state, but we do not want our children with these masks on in this heat. All right, Christine, dual controversy, so to speak. What are district officials saying about all of this tonight? Oh, yes. Well, right before the public portion tonight, they did demand respect from everybody in the room, threatening to shut the meeting down uh, if what happened on Tuesday night happened tonight. They want everyone to respect everyone's position. As for the mask mandate, they said they will send another strongly worded letter to the governor asking him to drop it. But they also say they don't expect to hear anything back until July. Rich. All right, Christine, thank you very much.